So now let's talk about current liabilities. Loans are important for most consumers purchasing a home or a business. Interest rates have been in historic lows for the past few years, but they are expected to increase over the long run. While having extra cash on hand is wonderful, the opposite situation, a cash shortfall, can turn into a crisis, unable to make payroll, etc. There are several potential sources of short-term funds. Accounts payable is money an organization owes its suppliers for goods and services. It's essentially the complement to accounts receivable. As an organization, you buy from your suppliers and you don't pay them right away. You owe them money, they have an accounts receivable, you have an accounts payable. The most widely used source of short-term financing, therefore, is, and the most important probably, um, is accounts payable. This is trade credit, credit uh, existing that is extended by suppliers for the purchase of their goods and services. Most trade credit agreements offer discounts to those organizations who pay their bills early. A supplier may offer trade terms of 110 net 30, meaning that the purchaser can take 1% discount if paid within 10 days. Otherwise, the full amount is due in 30 days. Virtually all organizations, large and small, obtain short-term funds for operations from banks. A line of credit is an arrangement by which a bank agrees to lend a specific amount of money to an organization upon request. Similar to consumer credit, a consumer credit card, in addition to credit lines, banks also make secured loans. Loans backed by collateral that the bank can claim if the borrowers do not repay their loans. So banks, you have lines of credit, essentially over the short term, you need money for making payroll, you borrow the money, you pay it back when it flows through. Um, it's one of those things that's similar to how one might use a credit card if you pay your debts immediately, which you always should with a credit card. Uh, then you have these secured loans. In addition, you have unsecured loans that are backed only by the borrower's good reputation and previous credit rating. The principal is the amount of money that's borrowed and the interest is the percentage of the principal that the bank charges for use of its money. The prime rate is the interest rate that commercial banks charge their best customers, usually large corporations, for short-term loans. In addition, we have some non-bank liabilities. They're not the banks are not the only source of short-term funds. Virtually all financial institutions, from insurance companies to pension pension funds, make short-term loans. In some instances, businesses actually sell their accounts receivable to a finance company that's known as a factor, which gives the selling organizations cash and assumes responsibility for collecting the accounts. Additional non-bank liabilities that must be managed are taxes owed to the government and wages owed to the employees. These represent debt obligations and the financial manager must plan to meet these as soon as they are due. So the opposite side of the current assets are the liabilities, which are things that you have to make sure you pay in a relatively short period of time and banks and other financial institutions are there to help that, but at a cost, which is the interest payments that have to be made. In the next lecture, we'll talk about fixed assets and the capital budgeting process.